Welcome back to Evolving Butterfly Goddess with me, Dr. Smo. Here we are all about evolving our lot in our life, our money, and our purpose through the energy of our ancestors. I want to thank you for all of your likes, your comments, your shares, and your subscribes on the channel. It is always appreciated. And a major shout out to all the channel members as well as the members over on my website and on Patreon. And those of y'all who have purchased from my team, my candle company, and those of you all who have entrusted me with your energy for personal readings, hypnotherapy sessions, and past life regressions. Thank you, loves. So this message is the quick grandmother message I was really feeling that I had to do now because it was like a two part. So the other day someone posted and they were asking if anyone had a jet magazine. And so I have one jet magazine that I still keep. And this is the one from when Michael Jackson passed away. Um, and so this is from August, 2009. And so Fast forward, I see this picture, and you all know I can sometimes get messages from pictures as well, 111. And, well, the picture is going to be the thumbnail, so you're going to know what I'm talking about. And I started feeling a grandmother message, and all of a sudden I hear, started hearing the, a Michael Jackson song. Um, Another day has gone. I'm still all alone. How could this be? You're not here with me. You never said goodbye. Someone tell me why. Did you have to go? And leave my world so cold Every day I sit and ask myself How did I let this be? Something whispers in my ear and says You are not alone I am here with you, though you're far away. Y'all hear the ambulance? I am here to stay. You are not alone. I am here with you. Though you're far apart, you're always in my heart. You are not alone. <laughs> Your grandmother may have recently passed away or the anniversary of her passing may have recently passed or you may have just really been missing her, just thinking about that relationship. You have the two of knives, the four of coins, and the son of sticks. You have a lot of things you really want to talk about and you wish you had people you could talk about it with. You have a big decision that you need to make and it feels like it's an emergency. Like it's a decision that it could make or break a situation in your life and you just don't know which direction to take. And it's something about if you heard her voice you would feel like you would have like the guidance on making this decision. Whisper three words and now come running and I'm three words. Talk to me. Speak to me. Just speak out, whether if it's go to her grave or just speak out into the universe and say, speak to me. Speak to me. And you have to trust the message that comes to you. You have to trust the energy that you feel. You have to know that it's her. You have to trust the signs and the symbols that 
you see after you ask for a message. A lot of numbers, twos and fours. You may want to go watch the 222 and the 444 message I posted the other day. Something about listening to her voice. Listening to her voice. Her voice is recorded on something. Listening to her voice um, helps trigger something. This three of coins is coming out. This feels like medium energy, but like using methods to help you connect to her. using different methods. Five of coins coming out in the reverse. Yeah, this is, she wants to remind you of how much you do have, of how much love you do have connected to you. How much she do love you, you know. I'm hearing, I do love you. I love you, I love you. Ooh. Okay, so how much love that you have surrounding you at this time, you need to know that, like, you do. with this five of coins it gives this energy of getting some help to help you with this decision or the processing of something some type of help or support to help you with the processing of it with like the understanding of everything of what happened and why it needed to happen Yeah, judgment. She wants, okay, the judgment, the choice that you need to make is the one that, this is, this is an answer for some of you all of what you've been asking for, actually. Um, this is the message that she, that's why she has me doing it right now. The choice you need to choose is the choice that scares you the most. And when she says scares you the most, she means most likely the one that scares you the most is the one that doesn't make the most sense. It's something about the one that you truly want to do, but you're just like, how does this make sense? How will this all come together? Because sometimes you make decisions based off of fear based off of what you may not have enough of or what may not be there and available for you, which is in turn a lack energy because you're making that decision out of fear. So it's something about making a decision out of like what you really would want to do, like what excites you the most, but it's fearful, you know, it's scary. And speaking of scary, even looking at the judgment, looking at her face, like that surprised face, you know, of like what comes out. And then you just had the four of coins, which had the wishbone energy in there. And then you got the bones here on the table. Something would be a wish come true for you, but you may not be able to see the full picture like right now. You know, the full picture is something that it may take a while for you to um, see, you know, and it's like full expansiveness.
but that's what your spirit feels the most drawn to, the most called to. Four of knives. Do what feels uncomfortable though. Cause with the four, I mean the father of six. You're gonna be good. You're gonna be taken care of. Do the thing that you feel would bring you peace, like to your soul and your spirit in this season. You know, and it may have to be an executive decision against what other people around you say. Jonah, y'all, why he moved from all the way in there to come over here to start looking on himself? I feel like when dogs and stuff do that, it's like the equivalent of kids. They wait until you get on the phone or something to start talking and like making all these noise. Like, because why did he have to do that? <laughs> this gives a vibe of making an executive decision, even with other people around you, not agreeing with the decision that you want to make or what you feel is best for you. 1111. but you have to do what's best for you. Yeah, five of baskets. You have to do what's best for you. You know if something is affecting your mental health negatively and it's your responsibility to, you know, take care of it, to take care of yourself when those moments happen. So your grandmother wants you to make the decision that you need to make that would change your surroundings. Like you can't force an unhealthy place to be healthy for you. If you've identified that the characteristics of it isn't healthy for you. Yeah, it's in a stick, something that's too burdensome. It's just a lot going on, it's, it's very heavy, you know? So you're being pushed out of a space that has been heavy and being pushed into a space that's like the perfect weight for you. But you can't see the full picture just yet. Five of baskets, six of baskets, son of sticks. Six of baskets in the reverse, which means it's time to let go of a past concept, um, a past belief, a past feeling that you may have had in regards to something that could be, you know, some type of loyalty for a long time or something that you put a lot of energy and time into. And it can be hard to leave things that you put a lot of time and energy into, you know, because it means a lot. It means a lot. You know, what you mean? You didn't put all this time into it and now it's time to move on to something different. If your passion is not in it, then yes, it's time to move on to something different, baby. Okay? You have to go where your energy flows. When you go where your energy flows, everything else just goes with it, you know? Nine of sticks. Eight of knives. Yeah, because there's a decision. If you was to make that decision, you're going to be stuck. Four of knives. Being stuck at a crossroad. Yeah, five of knives. And the three of baskets. But the three of baskets is in the reverse. And the five of knives is in the upright. So watch out for who you get advice from. Everyone is not in alignment with your spirit and your soul. So you could be getting ineffective advice or looking at a direction or a path according to an old part of you when you are now a new person, you know? You don't resonate with some things anymore. And when you stop resonating, you know, I was talking about that four of coins with the what's the name, and then it's back again at the Bible day. When you don't resonate with some things anymore, it's like you can't force it, you know? And this feels like that energy, like you can't force it.
Mm, believe half of what you see. Someone is not revealing the complete truth. The simple things matter most. I didn't do it. Do not trust what they are saying. This could even be something in a family relationship. There's some lies that's being told or has been told. Believe half of what you see. Someone is not revealing the complete truth. And that goes down to the people who you get advice from. Some of the people you get advice from could be jealous of you. They could be giving you bad advice just because they're jealous, okay? Yeah, and five of coins coming out again, okay? So make sure whoever and whatever you connect to, these are a people of abundance, people of prosperity, okay? People of prosperity. But that is your message. That's the grandmother message that um, she wanted me to get out for you right now. Um, you know what's best for you, okay? And as always, if you're interested in a personal reading, feel free to check out my website at monaco.com. I'll put all the links and things down below in the, um, in the comments for you. And um, check out my tea and my candle company, all of my books and my membership programs. And as always, always be real, always be true. Don't be afraid to do what your higher self and your spirit team is calling for you to do. Period. Love y'all and I'll see y'all later. Bye.